I think the other thing that educators really need to do with these immigrant children is uh, to give them something to read that they want to read. Uh, so many of these children come up to me and say, Miss, Shakespeare is great, but there is such a power in seeing my story told and feeling that it matters and that I am part of the fabric of this nation's story too. Uh, Enrique's journey has been assigned by 71 universities as a common or freshman read, hundreds of high schools. There's now a young adult version out for middle schools. And the teachers tell me I couldn't get them to read anything, but they eat this up because it is their story. It's a story they identify with. And um, there's just an enormous pride that uh, their story is being told. And it's so important that other students have to read about their story. So I think that there has to be a greater push by teachers to recognize that it's important for students to see themselves and their experiences in what they read, and that motivates them to read. And teachers tell me, I get to the end of my class and they're reading in class and they don't want to leave because they want to know what happens because they so identify with the, this story. It is their story. And I think that's very important for teachers to recognize and to broaden their perspectives of what students read. They all start out saying, I was forced to read your book, and this has changed my perspective. And I get those emails every day from students. I've heard from African-American students. There was a girl in Chicago who said, you know, we are so divided in my high school, Latino and African-American students. We sit apart at the cafeteria. But this is the story of my family, too, I've realized, because my grandmother came to Chicago from the Deep South during Jim Crow as part of the great migration of African Americans who fled the South, and she left my mother behind in the South. This is the story of my family. I understand these Latino students better now. Uh, I understand what they have lived through because it is what my family has lived through. So I think that through these uh, stories, if we can broaden what students read, uh, whether it's Reign of Gold or um, Bless Me Ultima or Enrique's Journey to try to broaden those perspectives of what students are reading today.